I got a request to do the inhibitor example problem from lecture 24. So the question asks us what concentration of non-competitive inhibitor leads to 90% inhibition. And actually, there's more to it if the Ki equals 3 micromolar. So there's a couple of kind of intuitive steps that you need to take when you're going to solve this problem. So the first thing is that you would actually be given the equations for the different types of inhibition. So you'd go to the non-competitive inhibition equation and note that initial velocity for non-competitive inhibition is equal to Vmax over alpha times S over Km plus S. So this is the Michaelis-Menten equation altered to fit non-competitive inhibition. So I mentioned you have to make a couple of intuitive leaps in the beginning. So 90% inhibition is the same as saying 10% activity. So to make an algebraic equation that describes that, the initial velocity in the presence of inhibitor, which we'll note as V sub I, is one-tenth of the regular initial velocity of this enzyme without the inhibitor present. So then we build off this algebraic equation, and since we know that the initial velocity in the presence of this non-competitive inhibitor is equal to this, we place this whole term on this side of the equal sign, and it's equal to one-tenth of regular initial velocity. Just to make it clear, over here I wrote V initial velocity And what I really mean, or what you can write is the initial velocity in the presence of inhibitor, or you could write VOI. Either way, we're talking about the initial velocity in the presence of inhibitor. One thing I'm going to do when I move this whole equation up here is I'm also going to expand the definition of alpha. Alpha equals 1 plus i over ki. So when I put this over here into our, into our formula, or into our equation, I'm going to also expand the term alpha. So this gives us vmax over 1 plus i over ki times s over km plus s equals 0.1 times the normal initial velocity. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to plug in the rest of the Michaelis-Menten equation to substitute for initial velocity. We know that the regular Michaelis-Menten equation is initial velocity equals Vmax times S over Km plus S. And again, that's an equation you'd be given. You don't have to memorize that. So now that I've got my terms that describe initial velocity on both sides of the equal sign, I can do the fun part where we're going to cancel out terms to make the math much easier. So anything you see on one side of the equation that appears in the same location on the other side of the equation, we can cross off. It's like saying 
If the left side gets multiplied by 5 and the right side gets multiplied by 5, then we can ignore the multiply by 5 step because it doesn't change the relationship between the two sides of the equal sign. So what do we see that's on both sides? Km plus S is in the denominator on both sides. Vmax is on both sides. Substrate concentration is on both sides. So this has allowed us to cancel out a lot of these terms, and we can write this complicated equation in a simpler way now. One thing to note, I just erased all the terms we had canceled, but there has to be a 1 left behind, because when you cancel the terms in the numerator, you still have to keep the numerator as a location, so that 1 exists up there. So you're left with 1 over 1 plus i over ki equals 0.1. The next steps that you do, you can do it a couple different ways. I do it in a way that is intuitive to me, but if a different way works better for you, do that, as long as it follows the rules of algebra. So I rewrite the right side of the equation from, one ten, from point 0.1 to 1 over 10. And what this allows me to do easily is to cross-multiply. So I'll cross-multiply here and here. So when you cross multiply you end up with 1 plus i over ki equals 10. You subtract 1 from the right side of the equation so you end up with i over ki equals 9. then i equals 9ki and at this point you go back to the original setup of the problem and you're told that ki equals 3 micromolars so you can just plug that right in so the concentration of inhibitor is 9 times 3 micromolar which is equal to 27 micromolar and that's it